So guys, what's going on? It's video video, and today we are back in our beloved world of Seven Days to Die. So welcome back, and thank you for surviving yet another video and returning for more. So, as you can see today, the night time of day five is whittling away. Uh, the zombie population of the town seems to be relatively down, which is actually really reassuring. Uh, and that means that we might not see too big of a problem, because when the dog horde comes, we'll just get to focus on the dog horde itself instead of, like, other BS, so I guess that's good. Uh, but what we are going to need to do, like I was mentioning, we gotta go mine and get some... What is it? What do we need to get? We gotta go mine and get some potassium nitrate and a little bit of coal. So we're gonna do that in the morning after the dog horde shows up because I don't know when that monstrosity is gonna come. And I'm kind of scared because I've eat, this will be my first ever... Is that dog horde I will be facing and I'm scared. Also, some of you guys were commenting, I need to get some candles and I need to light up this motherfucker. You know what? I agree. I completely forgot about that. I just crank up the brightness on my monitor and I just kind of go to town. So I kind of forget about that. Thank you guys for reminding me about that. I will attempt to do that. However, I don't think we actually have the necessary materials in this house. I think it's actually in the next house over. Also... Okay, we did. I, I was not sure if we ever actually looted this area. Uh, wait. I'm just trying to be quiet, because I think I hear them outside. Yeah, I definitely hear, like, one. No, there's really not a lot of them, so that's pretty reassuring. That fridge is the loudest thing ever when you get close to it. Let's head on up. See what the hell's going on on the roof. That is what we are interested in. I don't know if having the flashlight on, like... That means they're going to be attracted towards us. I never understood if they are attracted to light or not. I don't think they are. I mean, I could second opinion from you guys might be useful there, but I think we're good. Even then, not a single zombie in sight. This is kind of ominous of what, uh, what's going to be coming soon. I really wish we could just, like, you know what? You know what needs to happen? Duct tape. That needs to be a findable object, and then you can craft duct tape, a gun, and a flashlight, so we have a flashlight on your gun. Like, please, for the love of everything, just, I want to stick a flashlight on on a gun. Do you know how useful that'd be? Not having to have your flashlight out, and instead of having to be lucky enough to find a mining helmet? I mean, even then, you might even be able to just, like, take a football helmet and tape, like, a flashlight on, but still, being able to tape, like, a flashlight just on a gun barrel with some duct tape... That seems reasonable to me, but I don't know. That I'm just I'm just a dumb old seven days to die player. I don't know nothing. I just got ideas that may or may not get incorporated one day. I mean, I, me and I'm when I'm I'm probably not just me. Probably a lot a lot of seven days to die people were calling for a bow and arrow to be incorporated, especially since, well, you know, we there's a bow and arrow or no, there was a crossbow in the game already. But, uh, yeah, okay, so I'm trying to be productive here, however, there's not really much we can do, because we're stranded at, we're stranded here. Uh, someone was actually saying in the comments, I was reading through the comments of last episode, and thank you guys so much for being so supporting of uh, me once I do start streaming, and a lot of you guys were saying, oh, I'll tune in and stuff, I'll hop in, I'll watch you play 7 Days, I'll watch you play GTA, I'll watch you play anything, just thank you guys so much, I do appreciate that support, and kind of the knowledge that I know you guys will watch, that's really reassuring and fucking awesome of you guys so thank you guys so much for that uh so just want to mention that um while we were on the topic of comments however i was reading the comments and one of the things dogs someone said like 60 to 100 dogs come at night or on day six how true that is i don't know but i feel like that might be over exaggerating but at the same time Probably a good idea that we just kind of take a couple things out of our inventory and prioritize space. And by that, I mean have a fuck ton of medical shit here and ready to go. Uh, replace the flashlight with antibiotics just in case we get infected. That might be a good idea. Someone was, uh, the same person was suggesting that. Oh. The mist is coming. Hmm. Again. The one thing that has me worried is I have no clue when these dogs are going to show up. I mean, we'll definitely hear them coming, but that's about it. Okay. Well, what's our inventory looking like? What do we have? We got 115 shotgun shells, so shotgun-wise, we're good to go. 
Uh, cotton, let's just drop that. I don't know why we have that in our inventory. Uh, vitamins, we could take that to get a little bit of wellness. And cure distance, Harry, but we don't really need to. Plenty of bottled water. Uh, if we had some golden rod, we might be able to cook something up. Actually, when well, we are here. And then we can cook up. Oh, shit, we got more water. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we can boil up some eggs. Uh, I was going to say that's a good idea, but then I'm like, wait, we have 16 cans of ham. What the hell? Yeah, right. Get out of here, bro. All right. Let's munch on this hardcore. I'm so happy we found that grocery store. Grocery stores, they are OP. If you find one, your food is set for the longest time. And I love it. And also, it restores, like, what is it? Two health. So I just say, like, what was that? Just say three of them? That's plus six health. That doesn't seem like a lot, but that helps. That, 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 every little chunk, that counts. All right, we've eaten enough of that. Let's drink up some water since our thirst kind of suffered there. Let's get a couple here, one more, and there we go. Those two are full health-wise. And we could take painkillers, but eh, risk reward, not really worth it. Let's throw those antibiotics in there though. Let's push out the flashlights, got a good toolbar, shotgun. We want to repair this, make sure this is pristine condition. Maybe not pristine, that might be over-exaggerating, but as good as possible. So damage is maxed the fuck out, because we need this thing to be effective, and we need it to pop people in their faces. So, yeah, let's make this as amazing as possible. There we go, it should be a perfect, almost perfect. Never mind. A hunting rifle, might as well repair that too, for when we are shooting at them from range. We'll throw two kits on that, and fuck it, let's throw the rest of the kits on this. And what are we up to? That also does clear some inventory space. 114 entity damage. So, moral of the story, if we can snipe them with this thing, we can destroy some butthole. Also, people were saying that apparently in the other house, we had some fine pump shotgun parts. And you know what? That might be the case. Not fine. I, th I think it was flawless, actually. Someone said that we had some flawless shotgun parts in the other house. So, we're going to keep our ears peeled. We're going to try and sneak our way out without dying. How easy and or hard that'll be, we will have to find out. Uh, this is awkward. Now uh, let's just uh, get rid of that there. Da -da -da. Please don't hurt me. Oh, I did it. All right, now let's run. Because God knows when these dogs are going to show up and when they do... We aren't going to have the luxury of time. Let's get in here. Grab these shotgun parts as soon as possible. And make our way back. If worse comes to worst, we'll make some sort of ghetto rigged wooden frame building and take them out one by one. So you know what? I'm feeling confident. We have the materials on us, worst case scenario, to defend against a zombie attack. We also cannot seem to make that jump for the life of us. There we go. Uh, let's whip the flashlight out. And let's see where we had those. Someone said some sort of fine shotgun part. Uh, there we got normal shotgun parts. Shotgun receiver. We already have a flawless shotgun receiver, though. I think that's what people might have been commenting on. Yeah. Well, that's awkward. Uh, we can throw the grain alcohol on, though. Bring the animal fat. Get some candles cooking. Uh, scrap brass? Might as well. I mean, we already have some in our inventory. Uh, oil barrel, too. Beaker wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's uh, drop off some bottled water here, just in case. It's like our second home, after all. We don't really have any other parts that people were talking about. Yeah, nothing really that good for the shotgun. I mean, we have the sh receiver. As you can see here, receiver is already flawless, so that's not going to do us any good. Uh, pretty much, we got everything that we needed out of here. So let's make our way back nice and slowly. Let's have the wood frames out too. As worst comes to worst, we can just like build a little stack and jump up on it. And I don't know when these dogs are going to show up and I'm going to be living in constant fear of it. So this is going to suck. I'm guessing it'll be like an even number, like 8 p.m. No, 8 a.m. Noon or something like that. My best guess would be noon. I mean, if you think about it, noon seems pretty damn reasonable, but... I guess we'll have to see. Let's just run here. This is actually very scary. It is... Cr 
creepily quiet right now. I don't like this. Like, one bit. God damn it. Alright, there we go. Let's not jump on the spike. What? God damn stairs, man. Uh, I guess we'll pop some painkillers. I don't know. I guess we'll have to. Our hand will be forced. Let's slink our way back in here. Uh... Probably block off the doorway. Oh yeah, we should probably block that off. That's a one by one hole. We could easily get in through that. Bang. Bang. I hear a zombie outside. I don't know. I'm very sketched out right now. I don't know when they come. And... Uh, I don't want to find out. I really don't. I wish they'd leave me alone, but... Whatever, let's, uh, that, that one on the top is not going to do anything. Let's take that back. Let's just kind of begin fortifying our base a little bit more. Now, a good fortification to have, I had this on the last house from the last season, is a little bit of a doorway right here. It's a dark as hell, I understand. We will address that in a second. Let's repair all these into at least wood. So we can place down a door. But yeah, this is really dark. Okay. Uh, maybe we can just flip out the flashlight. Just have that on in the background so you can kind of see. There we go. What was I looking for? A door. We gotta craft up one of those. Because right now, we need, this, we need pretty much a security system to keep us warm. I just said to keep us warm. We need a security system to keep us from dying. Screw the scrap iron. That's like one piece. Whatever. Now then, how are we going to do this? We're going to craft up one secure door. We're going to toss it here. We're going to upgrade this. This is going to be like a little checkpoint, if that makes sense. I don't really know how else to sub subscribe it. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. No, I don't know how else to describe it. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, pretty much just a little like, door checkpoint. And we got to make sure that it is as upgraded as possible. We don't really have the scrap iron upgraded a whole bunch, but I mean, we can upgrade it to reinforced wood. So that's a start. I don't know how much wood we have, so I don't know how ham we can go on the upgrading. But, uh, we can probably get it. We can, yeah, we can probably get this little quote-unquote checkpoint done. That's about it, though. No scrap iron. And, uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know when they're gonna come. You know what might be a good idea, though? Ooh, busting open some of these windows. And, uh, Using this as a little cover. Where's our axe at? We don't have it? Okay. Let's pull it out before I get called a noob for using the wrong item on the wrong thing. There we go. That was loud as hell, though. Oh, shit. Don't want that. Jesus. There we go. That's what I wanted. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. You know what? This is actually kind of homey. Got a little sniper's nest here. So when the dogs start running, just pow. Bang. 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 I heard some walking. I and mean, there's a couple probably walkers out front, but nothing too great. That's nice though. We do have a little sniper's nest going there. Uh, we could probably get one going here too. Not a bad idea. Nice easy one hit breaks. And we got a little sniper's nest here. So maybe one day if Taco joins us in the world, we can snipe together. Oh, that'll be a happy day. Okay, well I think everything here is searched. Uh, yeah, medicine cabinet, okay. Now the question is, do we risk it and go out? I mean, I don't really know what there is for us to get, because we're looking pretty... Oh, candles. Let's, let's craft out some of these before we do anything else. Oh shit, the fire? Looks different for some reason. I don't know what it's about, but it definitely looks a little bit different. Uh, okay, so we got the cookware. Let's get the tallow cooking. Let's get as much ammo fat as possible. And... Alright. Throw on some wood planks. Right? Yeah, okay, wood planks. I don't know, I was second guessing myself, just like, wait. Is, does wood burn? Her -der -der -der. Okay, let's get that cooking. And we'll split up these stacks and just toss that on. Yeah, that's good. Have that going in the background. Still very empty town. Those dogs, they're gonna be coming soon. I've never seen the t a, a town in general. In Alpha 11, I've never seen a town this empty and quiet. That's off-putting. I mean, we're gonna see if 
8 is the magic hour, I guess. So, fingers crossed, this might be the end of us. And or the end of the dogs. No, I don't think 8's the time. You know, it would be awful if they came during some random time of the day. Yeah, let's not think about that. Oh, on this side. I mean, I I guess we're safe. We'll be fine. Let's get some of this tallow. Oh, we need plant fibers. Okay. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. And we're going to go ahead and try to snatch up some plant fibers. How good of an idea this is? I guess we'll find out. Very soon. Is that a pig? What are you doing, pig? I'm going to track the doggies over here. Fucking asshole. Gotta make sure that we can, like, descend safely, because I don't like dying. Uh. I don't really know. I mean, we had a really cool setup going on the multiplayer for Alpha 10. I don't remember exactly how we did it, though. Uh, you know what, actually, like, this is not an awful idea. Maybe zombies can't jump diagonally? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, probably gonna die a horrible death. Yeah, just snatch up some plant fibers. Keep our ears peeled, as usual. Uh, what is that? A stone? I wouldn't mind picking some of those up. I'm not even, even going to duck. There's no point. We're going to be slower, and we cannot afford to be slow in this situation. If we hear dogs, we run home. Guns blazing, but running home. Running away, fleeing. Because I'm a fleer. And then we take it from there. Where we take it, no one knows. We'll find out, though. We will definitely find out. Shit, that's a rock. Get out of here, rock. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to lure me into a false sense of security, but... It's working. Ah, uh, this is... This is gonna be awful. I'm just so sketched out, because I don't want to get caught out in the open. You know what? Good idea. Let's get some beer, just in case. We can outrun a bunch of dogs. Not outrun them, but run for a very good amount of time. And hopefully run home. Let's take this bitch out. Mm. That's the headshot. That's what I like to see. And I guess we could explore the houses across the street. I don't think we ever really, like, fully looked into these. Yeah, I mean, the front's not even busted open, so... Check out what's in here. Oh, you know what it might be? The back might be busted open. Now that I think about it. No, there's some weird polygonal shit going on, though. Do you see that? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yep. Untouched beverage coolers. Got some... Cerveza, in the words of the Spaniards. You're walking outside, so kind of sketched out, but we'll be okay. Ton of casino tokens. Yes. Greatest things ever. Uh, is there a door back here? What's up? Uh, anything good back in the back room? I think just filing cabinets. Alright, uh, let's whip out the flashlight so you guys can see. Don't want you guys going in blind. There we go. Oh, shopping bass. You'll see what that has. Nothing! Door that is locked, so we're, we'll be safe for a little bit here. If we do hear the dogs coming. Oh, nice little sniper's nest. Almost ready to go. We'll check the fridge in a second. What I want to do is mainly look in the bookcases, see if there's any any blueprints that we have yet to get. Mainly the SMG and sniper blueprints. We need both of those in order to craft our beloved weapons. Nightstand coming in a little bit clutch. You can take apart those 10 mil, get something out of that. What do we have? A little trash bin. Eh, I guess I'll pick it up. It's not that bad. Um, well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and... I don't think the dogs are going to come within the next hour or so, so we're safe to log off here. Next time when we come back, we're going to continue exploring kind of around our home and just seeing what these kind of couple stores have to offer. But at the same time, we're not going to wander too far away. we got to be ready for the dog horde. As soon as we take them out, we got to run. we gotta find. we got to find a cave somewhere. Uh, not really that many on the map from what we've seen, but we'll find it and we'll prevail somehow so i i don't know i mean there's one all the way down south there but i'm hoping we can find one a little bit closer to home but so uh, we are gonna have to do that next time so 
I guess what I want to ask you guys for your opinion. After the dog horde, which direction do we take? Do we go option one, option two, or take the safe one? That's going to be a bit farther, but we know where it is of option three. I want your guys' input because I legitimately have no clue which way we should go. But we definitely got to go one way. And we definitely got to make a decision in those regards. So that decision is going to be up to you guys. Tell me in the comments down below. I will be reading them and leave any awesome comments you want to leave. You know, if you joke, if, even if you just want to say hi to me, I will say hi to you back. I hope. If not, I'm sorry. I'm an awful person. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, appreciate the like and the subscribe. Sign up. Love you guys. See ya.